Hey, what's up? Um, just me talking this time. Uh, <laughs> it, it does pertain to Fire Emblem Heroes, um, but it's not necessarily uh, gameplay related that we're going to talk about today. It, it's more... It's more about me and what I'm trying to do here with Heroes rather than the game itself. Um, and it has to do with the recent data mine or leak. Uh, I'm going to use those phrases kind of interchangeably um, because, you know, it, the information that is found through a data mine is leaked, right? It's not shared intentionally by the game. So don't get caught up on the vernacular okay i know that's i know that's an argument a lot of people make is oh well if if they don't want it found they shouldn't put it in the data files <laughs> okay you clearly have no concept <laughs> of how release schedules work okay um and and that's why they do them in batches all right it's not because they want you to go in through unnatural means and find this information early that's not the intent <laughs> They may put something in a batch upload for an update, um, but that doesn't mean they want you to find it. Um, when they want you to find it, they'll share it with you, and it'll be an in-game notice. Okay, So let's just get that straight. Um, that's my one little pet peeve that I want to disclaim. Uh, the other disclaim is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to proceed under the assumption that whenever anybody on the channel or in the live streams or in comments or in Discord, whenever they start talking about things that are leaked or data mined, they're not doing it with malicious intent. They're not doing it uh, to ruin anybody uh, or give you know. They're not doing it in a bad way. They're doing it because they are excited and they want to talk about it and they're really jazzed to share it. That's the assumption I am going to operate under. Um, so if you're one of those people that have done this, this is not me like attacking you or calling you out or anything like that. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to set the record straight because, uh, last night there was, uh, what I would assume, uh, to be a pretty big, uh, story slash lore spoiler I can't even call it a spoiler, right? Because a spoiler is something that everybody could have knowledge of but doesn't yet. Um, so there was a leak. We'll call it a leak for what it is uh, from the data mine about um, something that's upcoming. And luckily, it's soon. It is soon. Um, so I, I don't have to. I don't have to be too shy uh, for very much longer. I think so. Someone, when we were live streaming the weapon refines, uh, came in and just started spouting something about what was data mined. And I'm like, oh. So, uh, to, to an extent, I can understand the impatience, okay? Not the need, but the impatience of wanting to know uh, a character stats early, right? Because you can concoct it in your head that's like, oh, well, if I know their stats, I know, well, if I have to pull or not. But even then, it's not really super relevant, right? Because the banners are so far apart, you could just wait <laughs> until the banner drops and the hero check shows up. And you can see their stats that way. Or you can just check the videos, honestly. Um, it's not even... I don't, I don't think they necessarily hide the stats in videos anymore. I think they outright show them for the most part. Um... So, I mean, however you want to concoct it in your head to make it seem like what you're doing is fine, whatever, I don't care. Uh, you go live your life, friend. You go live your life. My issue is that my YouTube channel is a, it's basically a personal social media account, okay? And it's not Twitter, right? It's not the data mine subreddit that got dropped. It, it's, it's not... Uh, a public Facebook group or whatever people use at this point. It is me sharing my experience for a game I enjoy, or games that I enjoy for that matter, with an audience that reciprocates those feelings. 
And so when I'm making content about a shared experience, it's, it's destructive having stuff like that ruined. Um, because now I won't be surprised and that, that can never come back. Right. Um, the authenticity of the reaction videos or, uh, the genuine commentary that I try to make, uh, from a, a semi blind standpoint, um, can never be that way specifically with this. And it, it seems like this particular amount, like this particular piece of information is a pretty big deal. Okay. Um, I feel that's why it's traveling faster. I feel like that's why people are getting hit with it more. People are more genuinely upset about getting spoiled on something like this uh, than I've seen maybe in the recent past with some of the data mine stuff. Uh, and so I, it sucks. It sucks. Leaks suck. Spoilers suck. Data mines kind of suck. It just sucks, you know? And I can't. I can't have that experience. I can't share that experience anymore. That's gone. That part is gone. And as someone who's been waiting for something really cool to happen in the story, um, it's frustrating, right? Because I've been waiting for it, and I'm very patient for it. And I'm excited to receive the the plot developments and the lore developments in whatever... Uh, order the the game developers deem necessary or appropriate, right? So I I wait patiently. Um, I could have waited a couple of days to find out naturally, but I can't because eager beavers over here think, oh well, forty eight hours. Oh, I can't wait that long. I gotta know now. And it's it's frustrating when again I'm trying to make videos about shared experiences, and um, that's not respected. So I'm going to go on record saying right now, I don't look at leaks. I don't look at data mines. I don't look at spoilers. I don't do any of that because the authenticity of my videos is that it's all fresh to me. Like I try and capture those experiences, those moments as frequently as I can. And I can't catch everything on video, obviously. Um, because you know, I'm not constantly live, right? <laughs> I'm going to find out some things before I can share them with you all. Um, but you know, I, whether it's, you know, blind trailer reactions or, uh, predictions or any of that stuff, I, I intentionally go out of my way to avoid knowing more than what we've been given already. Um, so that is me. That is how my channel operates this is not a public forum for you to spread your enthusiasm about uh, privileged information that you should not have. Okay. Um, I understand that if I live stream during the weapon refines, right, that I'm going to run the risk of getting spoiled. I'm going to run the risk of someone oversharing, we'll call it. Uh, and that is a calculated risk that I do take. Okay. Um, but I don't think it's too much to ask that you as the privilege information holder, right? If you're going out seeking this, uh, information that you're not meant to have yet, and then you learn it, I don't think it's asking too much on my behalf for you to operate under the assumption that not everybody wants to know that. Okay. So even, even if you got to bring it up, if you, if you just, if you can't be bothered to not share it, right. Uh, an appropriate lead in during a live stream would be, Hey, have you seen the data mine to which myself and my chat can probably respond quickly enough to say, no, please don't share it. We're not interested in that. Okay. This is not the place for that. The worst thing you could really do is just blunt in, run in and say, hey, uh, such and such is such and such. And that means this is such and such, right? Without any kind of um, 
precedence, right? Without any kind of um, heads up, without any kind of awareness of what you're about to say uh, could, could upset someone. And so it's frustrating for me when I have to operate under, you know, the, the, the spoiler alert nonsense that I have to put up with. Like, uh, I got called out for not doing a spoiler alert in something where, uh, (laughs) keep in mind that brave Micaiah was already a thing in heroes and Zelgius was already a thing in heroes. I got, uh, scolded, we'll say, or made aware of the fact that I did not give appropriate spoiler warnings when talking about Yoon. Well, number one, that game is 10 years old, okay? <laughs> so, I'm sorry if you don't, if you're not, like, up on your lore for Radiant Dawn. Uh, second, she in the game. All right, she got announced as a mythic hero. I still got called out for it, and I was like, okay, well, some people, some people are upset about that. I don't know how they, I don't know how they rationalize that this is a spoiler when uh, I was not the first one to present the information to them, and everybody playing Faye um, definitely knows about this already. Um, but you know what? I will go above and beyond to avoid ruining anybody's expectations of anything. So if y'all are going to expect that of me, I'm definitely going to expect that of you in the sense of, hey. Don't ruin anything that's not even public knowledge yet, right? Um, And by public knowledge, I mean uh, Heroes has shared it. They have put it in the notice. Um, I'm I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited too, but I don't I don't get the same excitement the way that you do. Okay, I get the excitement from taking in the pieces that they give us. as they give it to us. I don't want to know early. Because that ruins the shared experience that I'm trying to create here. And, um, like I said, as, as someone who's been waiting a long time to see some kind of big plot twist or development or something just unexpected, um, it's disappointing that it happened. It's disappointing that it got ruined. And again, I know that when I am the the content creator guy, okay, I take risks just by existing on the internet. I understand that. But my YouTube channel is not Twitter, okay? It's not Twitter. This is my home. Don't come into my home and ruin things. (laughs) That's that's all I'm asking. Um, This is my own little slice of the internet. Y'all are welcome to be here. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad you enjoy it here. I'm glad you're excited about the things that we are also excited about, but not everyone shares the same source of excitement. All right. Uh, And I think we as a group need to do better with that. That's all. Um, So yeah, there will be videos uh, coming up this week. Um, Fortunately, I, I think I know what's in store for us uh, for the first half of the month, so um, there's that. <laughs> but uh, we'll have a summon session tomorrow. I just felt like I needed to address this because people are now going back into other videos that I have um, that are like two, three weeks old at this point and talking about stuff that's relevant from the data mine, and I want to put it on blast. Don't do that, <laughs> Okay. When it becomes public knowledge and you want to go back and talk about it, absolutely do that. Full support in doing that. Um, But until everybody publicly finds out the way that the game developers intend for us to find out about it, no. Okay? Just please don't. Just be respectful of that. Um, And I I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, That's all I have for you, I think. I think that more or less says everything I wanted to say. Um, like I said, I recorded this video a couple times, and I just... It's frustrating. It is frustrating. Um, but that's okay. It's all right. Uh, it happens. We move on. We move past it. Hopefully the next big thing doesn't get spoiled, right? 
that's the goal anyway. That's the hope. That's the dream. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for uh, giving me a little bit of your time. And um, that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, help us get to 10K by the end of July if you want, I guess. That'd be cool. Um, but that's all I got. So thanks again. And until then, I will catch you next time.